Love you. Let's do to the patient. I'm a tool fan now, you guys. I like it. I'm in it. The patient. Okay, um, um, I'm wondering if this song is about his mom because a lot of the recent songs that we've done are about his mom. So I'm like, am I just in that headspace? But I feel like she was a patient for a lot. And I can see her asking like, God, is this a test? Because I know from what we know about Judith Marie, may she rest in peace, that she was a very like pious, godly woman. And so I can see her asking like, is this a test? I, I don't know what to do. I can't. I'm, I'm losing my patience as the patient. Interesting double entendre. Okay. Vibe, 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 vibe. Yeah, I feel like it's about his mom. Okay, that was so fire. The double entendre of patient, like you are a patient and being patient, like wait it out. You're gonna wait it out. It's gonna get better. You're gonna see, you're gonna get the answers. Like wait it out. I'm still here waiting it out. I love. Okay, all right, let's keep going.
Okay, this is really interesting. Okay, I'm going to wait it out. Why? Because I have a belief. There are rewards to reap. There is a loving embrace. I have a desire to heal. I'm going to wait it out because if I didn't believe that there were rewards to be wrapped, wrapped, reaped, <laughs> reaped, reaped, wrapped, roped, ripped, or raped. I cannot be serious. Okay. If I didn't believe that there were no rewards to reap, no loving embrace, then I would have walked away by now, which is interesting because I really do think this song is about his mom. And so it's interesting the choice of the words I would have walked away by now because she was paralyzed. So she could not have walked away. And I'm wondering if it's more of a like a metaphor. Well, I mean, I think obviously it's a metaphorical walked away, but more of something like serious of like, I would have taken my life by now. If I didn't believe that there was purpose in this, I would have given up. I would have quit. It's just interesting because I don't think that she saw walking away as an option from the rest of the tool discography that we've listened to. And he literally chose the words, I certainly would have walked away, but that's something that she physically couldn't have done. I just think it's interesting. This is so cool. I love a double entendre. The patient, patience, it's just like, it's so satisfying in the brain. It feels like the sizzle of when you open a Diet Coke. Gosh. Okay, one second, one second, one second, one second. This song is so cool because it perfectly describes what it feels like to be a person who is in a depth of pain that feels never ending. Like when you are a patient, whether it is a physical pain that you are experiencing, like being paralyzed, which often leads to emotional pain, or it is an emotional pain where you are at, you're a patient in a way of like, you need healing. If there's something in you that is hurting, that needs healing, that needs to be fixed. And there's this battle of like, do I give up? Do I quit? Or do I keep holding on? And it's like, I would have walked away right now. I have to keep reminding of myself of why I'm not walking away. And then it's like that little voice comes in and it's like, and I still may, like I still may walk away. But then the louder voice comes in and it's like, be patient. You have to be patient when you're a patient. You have to fight. You have to keep reminding yourself. And it's that like tension always bumping up against each other. I was like, I have hope of getting better. I want to give up. My air conditioner in my apartment is broken and I'm sweating listening to this song. But that that's so real and I feel like so many people can relate to that. And if you are a person who feels like you are a patient in need of healing and you are constantly battling with, do I be patient and keep trying and keep holding on or do I give up? Please share in the comments by tagging out Heart Support. That is what this community is here for. And you're not alone. Like that, I can just feel that in my bones of the fight of like, oh, it hurts so badly. I'm fighting for something. And then I, I can't really remember why. 
it starts to get quiet and maybe I'll just give up. And then, oh yeah, I remember what I'm fighting for, you know? Wow, this is beautiful and it's perfect because the truth is most people, when they are struggling, when they are a patient in need of healing, they lack patience. And this song points to a fundamental truth, which is when you are a patient, someone who is broken, someone who is hurt, someone who is in need of healing, patience is a fundamental characteristic quality of what you will need to get to the other side especially with mental health. I see a lack of patience in my patients so frequently. Quitting therapy after one or two sessions of not feeling better, only going to the gym for a week and being frustrated because you're not seeing results. We seek instant gratification for our pain and forget the patience element that is required of us when we are a patient. The allure of giving up is it gives us the instant gratification. It takes away the need to be patient when we are a patient. And we think that it solves. We seek instant gratification for our pain and that is the allure of giving up. It feels like it instantly solves the pain if we quit, if we do something as extreme as taking our own lives. But the truth is it doesn't solve the pain, it only transfers it. The only actual solve for pain is healing and that requires a level of patience that is very uncomfortable. And how do we sit in this patience? This song gives us the roadmap. We keep in mind the positive things that we are holding onto. We use MJK's mom as an example. She has positives that keep her patient while she is the patient, her loved ones. That's why I always tell people when they are in a place of healing to remember what they are healing for, what they are living for, why they are not giving up. And it can be a list of small things. I have a happy list on my phone. It's like a thousand things long. Sweatshirts with thumb holes. It's the first cup of coffee in the morning. It's my best friends. It's my parents. It's listening to a song that I love for the first time. Like making a list of those things that will keep you patient when you are a patient can be really, really helpful. And that is what Judith Marie does in this song, which I think it's about her, is she's like, I'm holding on for my loved ones. I'm holding on for the rewards that I believe that I will reap. That's what's keeping me going. That's why I'm not going to give up. I'm going to wait it out. And so when you listen to this song, you can listen to this song to call up that patience within you when you are a patient. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to wait it out. I know giving up is an option, but it's not the one I'm going to choose. I'm going to be a patient patient. That is what this song calls for. Oh, it's so freaking good. I love it. And if you want to help people be patient while they are a patient, if you want to be someone who walks alongside them and provides them with support, we need volunteers who, who have that heart. So click the link below. We'll train you. You don't have to know how to do it. We will train you, but we need people like you, not people like me who are therapists, people like you to support others, especially tool fans who are struggling, who are opening up in the comments right now. So click the link. Let's do it. And also subscribe, baby. Mwah. We got lots of tool for you.